Hey guys, how are you today? Happy pre-Valentine's Day, I would say. I am really celebrating large this year. I am so into love and celebrating love. We celebrated last week, hence the balloon. We're celebrating today, pre-Valentine's. We're celebrating on Valentine's Day. We're just really enjoying it. I'm so into celebrating Valentine's this year. I, I don't know what's got into me, but maybe I'm a little bit out of the new mama zone, if you know what I mean. So I remember like a few years ago, I would I was so into Valentine's. Then a few years later, I'm just like, yeah, okay, you know, we'll go for dinner. Like I'm, you know, not as excited, but excited. But this year, I'm super excited. I'm all in for it. I've got my outfits ready and we're gonna be getting ready together. So I'm already moisturized and everything. I actually got a haircut today and got my hair done. Uh, so I'm half ready. Um, I'm starting with this primer. I saw, Ella was in London uh, last week and she was, I watched her do her makeup and she was like, you really need this hourglass primer. It's amazing, it's all vegan. You really need their foundation. You really need their products. So I went the next day to Harrods and I got the primer, foundation, concealer. I like the primer, but I don't love the foundation and the concealer. Maybe I just need to get used to it a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit cakey on when all my other foundations like are smooth, like they just flow on. So I won't be using their foundation, but I'll be using their primer. dry I'm gonna moisturize a little bit I always love moisturizing with Elizabeth Arden so those of you who have been watching all my makeup videos for a long time know how much I love my Chanel concealer I've been using it for so many years I'm obsessed with it so I recently went and I was like hey I just need B20 which is my color I get B20 I apply it it's like you know like pinky it's awful and I'm like what is going on I compare it with my old one and it's completely different so I go back and she's like oh yeah we updated the colors so your shade would be different this shade that I had doesn't exist anymore because we tried every single shade but we were able to find something that's the closest but it's way lighter but I I I just love that texture of this concealer. So that's the best one I could find. So the one that I always used was a bit more yellowy, slightly darker tone than this. This is more whitish. You know, it's just one of my favorite concealers. I love it. I love it. And I always like to go brighter anyway. So I also got from Hourglass this brush. I really, really love this brush. So it's meant to be to go with their foundation that I'm not crazy about. Um, but I really like blending my makeup with it. I feel like no one could beat this foundation by Armani. I love it beyond like so much. It's so natural when it's on. So I always like going a little bit lighter um, so that I can then add bronzer or whatever it is I want. The most delicate subject, eyebrows, eyebrows. I did a few makeup tutorials recently and I got a lot of comments on my eyebrows that I should really change the style and everything and I really listen to you guys and take advice. Um, I'm the type of person that loves advice. I don't get offended at all. I find it actually very kind when somebody wants to advise you. So I looked into it and I'm trying to change the style of my eyebrows. So naturally, as you can see, I don't have very much hair. I also have a cut here when I was a little girl. I went to Charlotte Tilbury, I got a whole eyebrow kit and I spoke to the lady and she gave me some advice on how to apply it. So 
let's get started. Normally I would draw them out. She said to tick up if I wanted that brushed out look, which is what I'm after. Last time I tattooed my eyebrows was five years ago. Love that mascara. The makeup artist gave me tips on how to draw the perfect eyeliner. <laughs> I love buying makeup as well as receiving it, of course, because when I'm buying it, it's a different experience. I'm asking questions, I'm learning the techniques. But then with receiving it from brands, it's wonderful because I get to discover the latest things right away and test them and try them out myself. And then, you know, look up and learn, or sometimes they do those master classes so then we learn how, how to apply them. And I get to show you guys. <laughs> so I can't do it here. I need to do it in front of the mirror. <laughs> so I can make sure it's perfection. So my eyeliner before was always like with the powder and a little bit of a tick, but recently I've been getting into it after using Blow Limited, and Blow Limited, uh, one of the makeup artists, Noor, has been like draws the most beautiful eyeliner. It really makes my eyes like, I don't know. So, I'm getting into it. And here's the result. Now, blusher. I love that blusher. The pink is so light and so beautiful on. It really is one of my favorites. It's from the same collection of Prism Libre. I don't know how to say it. It's all French stuff. <laughs> from the same collection of Givenchy. I can't live without this blusher. This is sort of like my everyday makeup and sometimes I add eyeshadow or I change the lipstick or like today it's just about the lip liner because I'm gonna let my outfit do the talking and the lipstick. <laughs> Gotta go red for Valentine's. Bronzer, the terracotta palette, contouring palette. Hello, Mama. Hello. Zena, my Mama is in Dubai. Hey, Mama, Zena, that's the word. My Valentine's look, Yom. And she's showing you the Bahar. لا <laughs> اي زينه 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 اي it's by Givenchy and it's the Prism Libra, again, part of the same collection. I am obsessed with it on another level. I really think it's one of the nicest highlighters I have ever owned, for real. So, I like to use their own um, buffer that it comes with. I just really like it. I could use my own brush, but I just really like it. And it just gives me that natural glow you know i feel like i never used to like highlighters for a long time because i used to feel like if you have good skin and you put a highlighter for some reason it brings out like a bad skin i don't know why but then i started to like them with like different brands and i like like i love the guerlain ones but this is just like my favorite right now i love it so much Starting to use Givenchy products in the past two years have been such a life changer. I 
just cannot tell you how beautiful their products are. They really enhance your beauty. I think I'm going to be wearing red, so I'm going to put a brown lip liner. Actually, burgundy. <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't think I've ever tried that. That's Huda Beauty. You know how much I love her lip liner. It's nice. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I used to really care about the color of the lip liner or the lipstick. It does matter and it doesn't matter. If it's a red lipstick, I can always go over it. It's just to give me like a good base of where I want to apply the lipstick. But I'll fix that. I'll wear my outfit and then fix my lipstick. But this is my face makeup. So nice, natural, and just like, you know, it's got glowiness and it enhances your beauty. Ignore the lipstick, I'm fixing that. Here is my outfit. This gorgeous blazer, this gorgeous outfit came from Cult Mia. I've mentioned them on my vlog many times. They have such a great concept of unique uh, up and coming designers. And I've discovered so many lovely brands there. They're all about sustainability. And I got this blazer with the matching skirt to wear for new year's eve but then i we ended up celebrating at home and i didn't really want to be cooking and wearing a blazer <laughs> anyway it's such a great look i love it so much so it's the perfect look for valentine's the skirt is beautiful but i felt it was a little bit too short so then i went on matches fashion and ordered a few like stretchy skirts from attico and I thought I can play around with the styling. But I feel if I wear this with thick tights, it's fine. Like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. But the blazer is everything. So I can't wait to show you guys. And here is my final look. Like I told you, the lip liner won't matter because it just gives me a base and it looks great on actually a combo of like a darker burgundy with the bright red for valentine's and i decided to wear the skirt that the blazer comes with i mean it doesn't come with it but it's from the same brand and i decided to wear it this it's super mini so i wore thick tights to balance i love it and my stunning flowers are by the one and only couture florist that I am absolutely obsessed with all his work, Neil Strain. I mean, he just is really an artist when he selects his roses and the way they look. Beautiful. guys have a fabulous valentine's day like i am i'm celebrating all month and i think that's how it should be you should celebrate love every day with your loved ones with your husband your boyfriend your best friend your mom your children anyone anyone around you just celebrate love see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe i am off to my pre-valentine's dinner see you bye